daydream. Hey, what's up, my YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hey. Also, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you haven't, and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about my video, this video, it's just everything. I, I want to hear what you guys got to say. Also, uh, today I'm really excited about this video because when I tell you I'm a skincare junkie, I love skincare. And I'm giving you my updated skincare routine, okay? When I tell y'all, I suffered from hormonal acne after I had my daughter, like my face would just break out so bad, as you can see in the pictures. <laughs> like, I, it, it, it really like dawned on me like, yo, I am in an industry to where I'm in front of the camera. I have to make sure my skin is just A1. And I actually went to school to study to be an esthetician. I was an esthetician. I practiced esthetician work uh, probably for about three years, but I mainly stuck to the makeup because I, I was a makeup artist as well. But I went to aesthetic school because I really wanted to know how can I cure my hormonal acne? How can I take care of my skin? So I wanted to get professional education professional advice and we actually just did like facials every day my favorite thing to do was chemical peels y'all i haven't gotten one yet but as you guys can see my skin has really cleared up a lot i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation but that's what the chemical peel is going to be for and i'm also going to show you some products that's going to help with that so i'm really really excited for this video right here so y'all keep watching and stay tuned okay so first up the first product that i have to show you wait wait, wait, wait. let's back up wash your hands before you touch your face, okay? Dial, it works. We gonna get back to this. But first I gotta show y'all the first product. This is my holy grail. When I tell y'all, I love Panox. So this wash has really, really been a game changer for me. It has cleared a lot of my acne. The ones that's coming and popping up, it basically dries it and clear it out. Now hormonal acne is kind of cystic, so it does have to work from the inside out, but we'll get to that later. I'll tell you what you can do for that. But in the meantime, this right here helps with clearing up all those acnes, and it's only like $10. You can get it from Target. They have it at Ulta, but Target is a little cheaper. But when I tell you this right here, oh my gosh, chef's kiss. Now, sometimes I do mix it with the dial soap because it's an antibacterial soap. Now, acne is only basically bacteria living on the skin. So when I have super active breakouts for maybe my time of the month or maybe having too much sugar because that is a killer when it comes to acne, I would mix this with it and let it just sit on my face for a little bit and I do this. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I use this product because we're going to do the whole full blown out skincare routine, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all tips and everything. Now this is my, <laughs> this is the new one. I have this cause I don't ever want to run out. So I make sure when I know I'm about to run out, I get me a new one. So basically what I do is I always put it on the skin dry. Let's get the, the consistency. That's way too much. But I take it, put it on my skin like a mask. I keep it on my skin for about sometimes two to two to three minutes. It depends if I'm in the shower or I'm brushing my teeth. And I just kind of like, you see. Like I like to focus on the problem areas, which is right here. And right here, that's where the hormonal acne is normally up here and nothing like up in the cheeks. Don't forget your nose. So when I really want to kind of really, really, really get my face clean, I use this right here. It actually expands when it gets wet. It's pretty cool. But sometimes your hands don't do the work. Um, I had a Clarisonic and all the other tools, but sometimes I feel like I may be being too harsh with it. So I don't really use it. Okay. Um, now I do want to also mention that I do do like a double cleanse depending like if I'm coming from the gym or if I had like a really long day and I know I've been out in the heat and I feel yucky on my face I do like a double cleanse so what that is is you maybe get like a gentle wash at first to like wash your face and then you wash it a second time with maybe like a treatment wash so normally what I'll do is um, I will use this at first 
Um, this is the kale green tea spinach juice to the people. I love this. I had a bigger bottle, but I gave it to my daughter. So I use this just to kind of like wash it up. And then I go back to my, uh, my pen op. So also an uh, honorable mention that this is an old school girly right here. The Ambi y'all. Ambi, Ambi, Ambi. Now I use this like when I feel like I want to kind of help a little with the hyperpigmentation. I do this maybe like three times out of the week. And I mainly do this, um, first and then i'll do my uh, my treatment with my penoxo okay and when it comes to me drying my skin i use good old paper towel i do not use a washcloth long time i just kind of felt like it carries bacteria so i, I use just a bounty napkin i don't need to get all the fancy stuff that they have on amazon now i just pack dry I like to still make it a little, little damp. Now, normally after that, if I need to exfoliate my face, this is what I use. I use the Dermalogica. I love this. It's nice and gentle. It gives you that smooth skin. This is probably like one of my favorite. Okay, so I use it maybe about two, three times out the week. And let me show you guys how it is. Now, Dermalogica was a product that, well, a brand that I used when I was in aesthetic school. So I'm pretty familiar with a lot of the products and I love it. I fell in love with it. I always kept using it. Only certain products that I would use um, from them, but this was always one of them. It's rice based and it's like a, it helps brighten the skin as well. And I love exfoliants that's really gentle because there's some out there that can be really harsh and kind of really like burn your skin. So I just put a little bit in my hand. A little bit now this is how i like to do it a lot of people do it differently so i like to kind of just drip like the water just a little bit of water make it like a little paste activate it to my face and i rub it around And I just kind of massage it into my skin, probably for about a minute. I normally like to use this in the shower, mainly because you really gotta kind of clean your face really good because a lot of the rice um, grain base that's in this, kind of, it gets kind of, it sneaks in other places on your face and you forget about it. And next thing you know, you look up, you got like some right here. So you just turn it into like a little paste. And I focus on my problem area. I go over my lips too. We always neglect like our lips, guys, but you can't do that. <laughs> okay. So after I'm done exfoliating um, with the Dermalogica um, Daily Micro Exfoliant, this is another like exfoliant I kind of like to use. It's the DHAs. It helps with blackheads. And I normally just put that on my problem areas. And mainly I'll break out right here and I'll kind of like just get a swab and I'll put it right there. But since I already used an exfoliating product, I'm not going to use another one. But I would either do either or. I don't like to over exfoliate my skin. But this is by Costar X. It's a really good product. I normally use Paula Choice, but I'm out of that. But this one right here does a just fine, y'all. You know, the girls with the whole glass skin, Korean skincare. Some Korean skincare stuff is like really, really good. But we also have to keep in mind their Korean skin is different from black skin. Um, technically, honestly, from what I researched, I believe that we should keep our skin super moisturized, like keep it moisturized. Because me personally, when I don't get enough moisture, I get breakouts. So that's what I use for like an exfoliant. My next thing I do, wait, 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 wait. Glycolic retinol peel. This also is what I use to, this is kind of like an exfoliant too because it does have glycolic in it and it has retinol. It's a resurfacing peel pads. I use these maybe like, I started out using them every night, but now I only pretty much use these about um, two or three times out the week, not a lot. I'm almost done with them. Um, they're pretty good. It helps even out the skin, gives you that really nice smooth skin, okay? Now the next thing I do after I exfoliate, I use my toner. This is my toner right here, AHA and the BHA. AHA is alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. And now these basically work hand in hand and it helps get you that skin you need. But I love this toner. This is also Cost RX and I just kind of take this after I'm done with my wash and exfoliant. Put it all over. 
for my face. And toner also helps get that extra, extra dirt that you may have missed out the skin. They help kind of help with your skin being back to its, uh, supposedly your aesthetic level. Or it, it helps um, the products get back into the skin. But I never used to use toner, but it's a game changer. So y'all make sure y'all use your toner because uh, it's definitely needed. After my toner, I normally will go in with my other holy grail it's the benzo peroxide i got this from target y'all target and it's like six seven dollars it has 10 percent benzo peroxide in it it's basically compared to clean and clear but honestly i it should be compared to like a dermalogica because this is really really good um i used to use another kind but hmm, i love this one and i'll take a little bit of this and i put it mainly on my problem areas why I normally break out the most sometimes I do it on my forehead if I get like maybe some skincare stuff on there I'm not I use it on my forehead if I get like hair products and I maybe get a little breakout it's a little bit but mainly I think focus right here let's see Ooh, we coming together okay now after I do that you make sure you want to go from thick to lightest, thick to lightest, thick to lightest when it comes. So I did this. After I do that, I normally would go in with this. This I love this product. This this gives me that glow. When I tell you that glow, that glow. So it's the Snail Loosen Power Essence. Um, it is also by Cost RX. You can get Cost RX at Ulta or online. I use this on my skin, or I use the Glow Recipe. Love, 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 love the glue recipe. Been using this for a while now. Uh, this is the nice and my drops. So I normally use this one pretty much at night and maybe during the day if I kind of just want like a little, you know. So we're gonna go with this, okay? But don't get it twisted. I'm almost out. <laughs> normally, um, I play favorites with my niacinamide uh, glow recipe, but I just love, 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 love the glow this product puts on your face. Like, mm. my skin just feels so, 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 so like healthy when I do that. So that's the glow it gives you. Did you like that? It's just, it just helps with your texture. Now, another thing that I use. I do use hyaluronic acid. I put a little bit of that on, just a little tad bit, not a lot, because I feel like if you do too much, it gets it makes your face just kind of sudgy a little bit. So I just do like it's a little top drop. Now hyaluronic gives your skin that moisture and that plumpness, plump plumpness that it needs. Now what I do is now we like to just kind of throw our products on one after another. I normally would just use my fan. Cause I want to dry that in there. Dry it up. Little handheld fan. Got it from Amazon. See? There we go. Okay. Now. After that, now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to we're gonna get to like the hyperpigmentation part. Now, what I use to help with my hyper hyperpigmentation, y'all, is faded. Y'all see it. This is my faded cream. I honestly am sleeping on this product, but I decided to just go ahead and give it a try because I would normally use it on my skin, like my legs and my arms and stuff, but now I use it on my face. When I tell y'all, game changer, like I love it. A little goes a long way. That's why I always get a like one little tube. The little tube literally lasts me for maybe like a month and a half. And all you need is a pea size, just a little pea size. Oh, that's a string bean. <laughs> And I normally put this on at night, mainly because of the ingredients in it. And I don't really want to um, go outside and, and hit the, the, the rays of the sun and um, and have the sun counteract with this product. So it has a weird smell, but it's not a bad smell. You know, it's you know how you like 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 a lot of people like to smell gasoline, but it's not a good smell. It, it's kind of like that. It don't smell like gasoline, but it's like I can't really I can't really. But yeah, so it has, um, hope I'm saying this right, 
Trinit, Trin, oh my god, Trinexmic Acid, <laughs> Melatonin, Niacinamide, and Kojic Acid. Kojic Acid is a really good, really good, good one. Uh, what I do love about this product, it doesn't have hydroquinone in it. Hydroquinone in it are banned in some countries just because it can be detrimental to the health. So this is what I really love about this product. It's brightening and it's a clearing serum. So it has that nice texture, okay? After I put that on, and normally at night, I put those products on, I do this. Now everybody gotta have them some lactic vitamin C acid. Okay, oops. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, th I thought I was saying it wrong there, but I know I was, come on now, girl, you got this. 15% vitamin C. This is by Dr. Janice Gross. I use his peel pads before, but this is pretty much the girls and also one of the strongest products that they have in there. Um, I normally use the Dermalogica one, but I wanted to give this a shot. I love this one um, because it's stronger. <laughs> um, and all I do is kind of drippy, so I just do like a little bit on my, my face. Sometimes I put it on my hands, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Now the Dermalogica one that I do use, that one is more like the consistency is a little thicker. But this one, I love this one because I feel like it works a lot faster. This is a, now this product is like, I think it's about 80, 80 bucks, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Now when you put your vitamin C, you press it into your skin. Press it in there. And vitamin C is gonna be your brightener, your light in. It helps with all the hyperpigmentation. It also affirms, and this has 15%. That is a lot, a lot. Now, Last, well, no, not last, but kind of last, not last. This right here, belief. This is my holy grail moisturizer. I love, 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 love this moisturizer. Mainly, why? Because it helps plump the skin. It's an aqua bomb and it increases your hydration level to 70% dermatologist. Just test it, okay? I just get a little bit, put it on my hand. that into my skin look at the glow honey look at the glow look at the glow look at the glass yes I like that mm -hmm. okay on to the next the next thing we want to do listen I know y'all heard black people don't need this whatever listen if you're gonna use those products and those acids on your face you have to protect your skin because a lot of those acids when it's activated by Sun it can just help make the problem worse and pretty much maybe be a little harsh to burn your skin a little bit. So I wanna always recommend you guys use your SPF, put on your sunscreen, girls. Now this right here is for my chocolate brown caramel, my black girls. This is the black girl sunscreen. I love this because I, it doesn't leave like a white mask on the face. A lot of sunscreen over the years that I've tried, it leaves like that little cakey mask look and that's one thing that I hated. So I'm glad that they finally Invented this for us girls, us black girls. Um, now it does have a 30 SPF infused with Joba, uh, Jojoba avocado. That's one thing I love about it. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. <laughs> Ultra sheer, okay? So I never leave out the house without putting on my sunscreen. Sometimes I refresh maybe for like another, like maybe after a couple of hours, depending on how long I'm out. And I like to put it like this. Let's go ahead and take this off. Okay. Don't forget the size of your face. Bring it down to my neck and my chest. Now, before we go, I just basically want to kind of mention some tips and also some honorable mention products that I also use. I just didn't use them today. So one of the things that I do use um, is the Use of the People Superberry Hydrate Glow Mask. Now this is a mask that you can use overnight and basically sleep in it. So I normally use this when I'm feeling a little dry or I just kind of want to wake up with a nice little glow. If I have something going on, I'll normally use this. Now it looks small, but when I tell y'all a little goes a long way. It has uh, Maui in it, vitamin C and squalene, a hyaluronic. And you sleep with that on your face, wake up, glowing. That's what I use. And also for my eye cream, this is what I use for my eye cream. Let's go ahead and put some on. This is the Ole Hing, excuse my pronunciation. This is the Ole Henriksen, I got it right, Ole Henriksen, 
Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Now, you wanna need a little bit of this in ring finger because this is the most delicate skin on your face is under your eye. You wanna pat very gently. Sometimes I go on the eyelid. But I'm feeling a little tired and my eyes just look tired. I'll use this and also I'll put it on before I go to bed. Mind you, I put this on before my sunscreen, but I just wanted to show you guys how I put it on. Only if I'm going out of, outside. Now, nighttime, no sunscreen, I use this. <laughs> okay? Y'all get me. Now, one thing I do not like to do is neglect the lips. This was my girl. Kind of still is. I still use her. This is the Laneige lip mask, but this Mario Badesco lip mask I found in Ulta. I love it. I actually carry this one around um, in my purse and I just kind of just put it on and I leave this one at home to put it on at night. Um, this is like a, this was one, a limited edition one. This is a strawberry banana, I believe. But normally use this as a lip mask. This as well, but I normally carry this one around with me. So I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this on, people use this a lot. So I'm gonna just show y'all this one because I don't really see nobody really talk about this one. This is how it looks. I'm gonna make sure your lips do not wake up dry. It has Asi and vanilla. That's what it says. Maybe that's the smell. A nourishing leave-on lip mask with a blend of botanical extracts and oils that moisturize overnight for supple and hydrated lips by morning. Yeah, that's what I like. Another thing that I do want to mention, we have to make sure we take care of the inside of the body. One thing I did notice about my hormonal acne, a lot of the problems was coming from what I was eating, like too much dairy will definitely cause my hormonal acne outbreak just to go crazy. My number one killer was coffee. I wanted to say caffeine, but it was always the coffee. And I'm not even a, ca a, a coffee drinker, but normally if I need to get that extra boost in the morning, I got a Keurig machine and I was just going crazy on coffee. And I realized too much caffeine um, that I drink from coffee normally, because I drink tea and I don't have that problem with tea, but when I drink coffee with a lot of caffeine in it, I tend to break out a little more. When I indulge too much in sugar, I get the little small little bumps. Um, so I try to minimize a lot of that, a lot, a lot, a lot of that. I minimize it and also the dairy. And I also eat like blueberries and a lot of berries. It has antioxidants in it, so it's good for the skin. Also green tea. Also another little secret that I discovered, I'm pretty sure a lot of people may have known about this because it's it's not a secret. Well, it's a secret, but not really a secret, but I'll say a tip. Um, bok choy. So the vegetable bok choy, it has a lot of collagen in it and it basically helps your skin, give you that glowing skin. So that's like kind of like a secret for your skin. It does help. So I've been eating a lot of bok choy and I can't sit here and say, oh, the bok choy does it, but it does help the inside and it's going to help produce that collagen because we, because the older we get, the slower our skin turnover. And you want to make sure you get that collagen, have that nice plump, glassy, healthy looking skin. Okay, another thing I use y'all is hum. hum. So the hum products I use is the hormonal balance. This helps balance my hormonal acne. And then I use the daily cleanse detox one. This one basically just helps you pretty much just detox your entire body. And it does say it is, um, it helps detox body and clear the skin. So I take these on a daily basis, y'all. Make sure you take your vitamins, get your vitamins in. Also, zinc also helps as well in vitamin Z. And the number one thing you make sure you always want to include inside your skincare routine is baby H2O. H2O. Drink your water, okay? Drink your water. It's definitely needed. So I definitely drink about six, maybe eight bottles a day just because i love water that's all i really drink is water get y'all h2 in h2o and it definitely helps your skin so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up if you guys have any questions please do not hesitate to drop a comment below if you guys want to see me do my nighttime routine or maybe talk about the products more in depth or just anything you guys like to see from me please let me know again thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys later Reaching out